In this tutorial, I will explain how you can use Python to evaluate truth tables, uh, in this case with a range of, of three inputs, which we'll call A, B or C. Uh, the first thing that I've done is I've set up an array which has uh, eight combinations of the possible inputs of A, B and C, which uh, are represented by zeros and ones and then I've got a little bit of a print statement up here that just says this is happens to be the uh, statement that I'm evaluating currently but obviously we can change that that's just uh, a printout on the screen it doesn't really matter what it is the next bit um, it loops through the array and for each uh, group of, uh, of three it will it will assign a value of true or false to the variables a b and c so in this case um, if item zero is uh, one it, a will be true else it will be a false so first time round we'll have a b and c will all be false a will be false b will be false c will be true etc and then for each um, each kind of uh, set of values for A, B and C, it will print off what the value of A, B or C is, whether it's true or false, and then it will evaluate the statement. And the statement, the logical statement, is evaluated here. It's uh, A or B and not C. And it will give us an output of true or false um, for all the all the possible values of a b and c okay so we can see that that's worked and now so just to double check it i'm using the <coughs> excuse me logic gate simulator which is uh, on the internet you can see that um the uh, for, for y to be true um, a must be false and C must be false but B is true so I can just set those and you'll see that, that it, it works basically it just proves that the um, it works and if I want to change the logical statement then I can just change it here I'm just putting it in brackets to be sure so I can just do a simple one A and B or C. And then I should be able to evaluate that statement. Just a bracket off the end. And really what I should do as well is change that. And off it goes, and it evaluates that. Now, if you wanted to increase the number of inputs, you would obviously need to expand the array to have four items um, in each one, and you'd obviously have to double the number of um, items in the array. And you'd also have to add an extra if statement to uh, capture the value of D and you'd need to make some changes to the output as well so it would uh, it would cope with the uh, additional variable so that's it how to evaluate truth statements in Python hope you enjoyed this video if you'd like a copy of this code uh, please drop me an email thanks for watching